All right, for today's press conference, we've got uh, Daniel Globovic. <laughs> Gl- Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's Globloblob. Globolob. Cedric Dubler and Martin Clark. Marty Clark. Hello, guys. It's good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a bit nervous? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Marty's never shut up in his life, and now he's, uh, he's gone quiet. Uh, thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Um. Thanks for having us, Dan. Yeah, it's good to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right, we've got our uh, readers' questions here. Um, and we're going to start off with an easy one uh, from Peter, who wants to know, is there a lot of mental warfare that goes on between you guys at training? No, I wouldn't say so. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, we focus on technique mainly. Yeah. Pretty yeah, focus relaxed. on yeah. focus on ourselves. We're not mm. too stressed. But going off your sh- like bench press PB, wouldn't you be worried about your shot pull? What is your shot pull PB? Uh twelve forty one at the moment. Twelve? Yeah. Like with the one two? Yeah, but like it's gonna be bigger at nationals. And it'll be bigger than you. Mm. Yeah, well, I guess we'll find out. I haven't been throwing that um that shot put with the the six seven five shot put, not huh? the seven point two. Well, I have thrown the seven point two, and you keep you always throw with the seven. <laughs> He's not wrong there. That's <laughs> not. He got me there. Yeah, look, um, I guess we're just uh, we're excited to see what happens at nationals. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm ready for his scalp. I'll just stay quiet till you guys throw 14. (laughs) Following on from that, Rowan wants to know who's the hungriest dog out of the three of you? Um, when did you have lunch? I'm eating gummy worms now. Yeah, gummy worms don't count. When did you have lunch? Uh, before I came. You had lunch? Mm, Yeah. I didn't have lunch, I'm the hungriest. Because I'm really hungry right now. I'm going to cook some, uh, some eggs on bread right after this press conference. Wouldn't you need more? You're trying to bulk, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just wait for the shot put at nationals. Let's just see what happens, all right? Aaron wants to know, Marty, how much zinc do you go through in a comp? Great question, Aaron. <laughs> um, you'll be surprised. I at least go through like a tube a day. Um, yeah. Do you actually? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say. No, nah, it'd be like... So a little bit of squirt here and a little bit of squirt there and it's a bit on the face and yeah. that's it. Probably three squirts. Do you wash it between day one and two? Sometimes I sleep in it if I if can't you, if, you're, if day one's like going good, you yeah. want to keep that juju. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, often probably reapply three times a day. Slip, slop and slap, boys and girls. Exactly. Very mm. important. Mm. Mm. Dan, Martin wants to know your PB is only 100 points off 8,000 points. Yeah. What are you going to do to get those extra points? Oh, good question. Um, well, you know, training has been going really well, so I'm coming in with some confidence. Um, and I've kind of broke it down to where I need 100 extra points to break that, like, 8,000 point level. Um, so if I can just do the equivalent of 10 points better per event, then I think I've done the math and I think it works out to be like over that 8,000 point barrier. And I think that's the way, it's the simplest way to do that. <laughs> that's good, I like that. <laughs> Cedric, Freddie wants to know, are the rumours that you're retiring from athletics to become a full-time snooker player true? No comment. Not even a little hint. No. no. Yeah. No, no, no. And uh, Jamie wants to know what will be your comp day routine. Oh uh, well, what from the get go from waking so, up? So yeah, like I um I wake up in the morning, mm-hmm. open my blinds. Well, I open my blinds first. Uh, then I kind of lie in bed a bit longer, check Instagram, that sort of stuff. Wait for my body to actually wake up. Go to the bathroom, have a shower, brush my teeth, come downstairs, eat some breakfast. And then uh, I kind of just go out to the track and compete. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is just check if I've got any Tinder matches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting that in there. Oh, I'm not putting that in there. <laughs> I thought that was a ripper. <laughs> that was good. 
Okay, I might put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, Martin, I've got one for you. When are you going to ask Celeste Mucci on a date? Uh, <laughs> um, you got a great platform <laughs> yeah, yeah. right now. <laughs> uh, I've never seen him so choked up. <laughs> when, this is like incredible. When, when, um, <laughs> when I've got the confidence to talk to her. <laughs> uh, another one for all of you. Uh, Jen wants to know what's your favourite warm up song? So I. Um, I before a race, the last song I listened to is Sound of Silence by Disturbed. Put the noise cancelling headphones on, play that song, no interruptions, then I'm ready to compete. What about you guys? I'm probably the complete opposite. I'm super aggressive music when it's comp day. I'm yeah, heavy, heavy stuff. So my favourite song's called Fake. If you want to listen to it and you know Who's that one by? Uh, five, five Finger Punch. Five Finger Punch? Yeah, aggressive. Yeah. It's a good song. Yeah. Cracker. Gets your G'd up. I listen to a lot of the same stuff he does, so... We'll probably be together and listen to the, uh, Yui. Andrea wants to know, if an event doesn't go as planned, what will you do to refocus? Who wants to kick it off? Um... <clears throat> maybe... I don't know. Have a little tantrum, throw my shoes on the ground. Um... You obviously don't want to do it for too long. Um, you don't want to get caught up in it. So, like five minutes, if you have to, scream into a pillow. Um, have your moment and yeah. then move on. Sort of yeah, thing. exactly. Yeah. For me, it's good to have the camera. It's like a therapist. I just kind of put all my emotions and my... I just talk to the camera, put it all in there, and then I can just uh, move on. Yeah, I just like to have my few minutes to boil and just lid pops off and I'm on by my by myself and just like red in the face and then it's like all right we've got to go forward reset and get thinking about and visualizing the next event thoughts on nationals being so early this year Jen would also like to know um for me I'm not a massive fan of it uh we had the world championships quite late last year in October I believe it was so to turn around so quick for a new season, I would have liked more of an off season to kind of prepare for that that competition. But uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's definitely a bit different coming from the states as well, where typically we are starting to compete around this time of year. But like first meet here, maybe doing a heptathlon, kind of like breaking the ice and seeing where we're at. Um, to go straight into a national event this early is it's bit more pressure but I'm trying to stay relaxed and just kind of eat my trolley worms and have some fun with it. Trolley if you'd like to sponsor us. Mm -hmm. We go through a lot of trolley worms. Uh, for me it probably doesn't matter as much as these boys because obviously they're at a higher level than me um, so I'm not too fast um, but if nationals do go well it gives me an opportunity to compete overseas which is a positive. Mm. Your eyes are like all whistling. Like they're all like... <laughs> <laughs> a little sparkle. <laughs> Hopefully Celeste sees mine. <laughs> <laughs> and that is staying in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so a full, a full, we've checked this, all 50 million people would like to know, what are your goals for nationals, Marty? Um, score a PB. That's obviously everyone's goal. Um, I just want to... Put a score out there that I know I'm capable of um, and I'll also get onto the Australian uh, top list um, and obviously finish as high as I can up there. Um, but yeah, mainly just get a good score. A uh, bit of a weird answer. I want to learn more about myself. So like we're trialing a few different things. Uh, we're trialing some breathing techniques before the, the endurance stuff. We're trialing different nutrition, I guess, techniques. So just learning more about how I cope with different situations and seeing if that's something we can take into future competitions. I think I'm on the same page with you as well. It's been a whole different training experience being down here with these boys. Um, so we're kind of going in with not too many expectations, but some confidence knowing that we put in a whole bunch of work and that we're ready to do something nice. 
Jen would like to know, uh, since Nationals is at home, do you expect more support and cheering? Yeah, well, this is an interesting one. Um, this year, Athletic Australia has decided to split the Nationals. So there's individual events, which is in another month, month and a bit. And we've been pushed forward by ourselves. We've been put into a large stadium. The weather's not looking good. There's not much promotion about it. So, um, hence why we're here. Hence why we're here, <laughs> promoting it ourselves, yeah. doing our own thing. Um, yeah, we're not sure if uh, if anyone's going to come out and watch. If you, if you're from Brisbane, come out and watch. Mm. It's going to be it's going to be a good time if it's not raining. If it's raining, stay at home because uh, that's where I'd like to be. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a bit annoying that we've kind of been separated from the other the other nationals and pushed earlier in the year and all that sort of stuff. But. Uh, it is what it is and hopefully there's still a bit of a crowd out there to support us Same thing. Yeah, yeah. same thing. Yeah. Cool. All right, so who's gonna get that milkshake? Which one? Yeah. <laughs> well, do we have any milkshake bets like set out yet? Set up now I don't know. 1500? Done. There's always one. Yeah, well it looks like that's my milkshake That's uh, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's I, uh, I got uh, this. Well, no. Excuse uh, me, boys. Who just took the thousand PB in flats? The thousand. thousand. Yeah. Well, I, just, thousand. I just got the PB in the twelve hundred. I I have the quickest fifteen hundred, and that's the actual distance we run. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, like yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's okay running like a thousand yeah. and twelve hundred, well, but just, like you got to finish yeah. it off. Just yeah. get used it's to the fifteen hundred race. Just get, get used to seeing it's, this. Look, I was I was seeing that in the race the other day until I overtook you and beat you across the line. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, it's because it was windy. You were sitting behind me, so I took the. Let you do the work. Yeah. Yeah, you should know better. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> That's tactics. <laughs> so, are you guys competitive at training? Nah, not really. Nah, no, no, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Ben Cedric. You're sponsored by. M my muscle chef when are you going to see some muscles well, i benched 95 kilos the other day in the gym and i'm almost at 80 kilos that's cute <laughs> <laughs> we're getting there okay it's a process you gotta do it right pretty sure dan and i, I do love... that for reps don't we yeah, 95 like, kilos yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Pretty> <laughs> sure. 10. i think ash did that for 10 reps did it for 10. <laughs> yeah. Um, he heard in, it's scalping season for Marty. Is this true? No. It's always true. It's all... Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 just getting ready for the scalps. <laughs> no, Was that your answer? <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> Stand up and get ready for the scalps. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. God. Uh, I've got a serious question. Yeah. All right, Martin, this is a serious question. Um, because you haven't had it easy, uh, like, you know, you've, like, struggled with, like, trying to get the scores going and stuff, um, what, do you, what, do you, what do you suggest for people that do struggle when they're competing and stuff? Like, how will you – I don't even know how to say it – but how will you actually put it on the table when you know previously sometimes, like – events haven't gone to plan how are you gonna make it happen this nationals um well pretty much i've learned from these boys training with these boys um if events don't go well you just throw it in the trash plain and simple you don't dread on it you've done the training leading up so for example if my hundred's not exactly what i want there's nothing to go um and you just Trust yourself what you've done in that training block or over the year for training um, and you just got to back yourself and not dread on the previous event and just keep going. The other thing that I've seen you learn from the last few years is like lowering the expectations so yeah. that you're always oh, ahead yeah. of, of yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So instead of like, like you're in great shape coming into a competition, instead of aiming for like 7,500 or 8,500 or whatever yeah. you're aiming for, Lowering the expectations, so yeah. as you go through the events, you're you're always ahead, yeah. uh, instead of kind of trailing behind, yeah. and yeah. that's something I've seen you kind of flick into, and, yeah. and so yeah. that's why I know there's something big coming. Yeah, yeah, no, I've learned the hard way. I've, I know I'm capable of scoring big, um, but 
just it, it's a process. It's it's a long process. Um, athletics, as I've learned from Tommy Connolly and Luke Grimley, athletics is a waiting game. Your time will come. Going back to that eight thousand point question earlier, though, like if I because I'm going just for like 10 points per event, right? If I can do 10 points better than what I've done, then I'll break the 8,000 mark. But if one doesn't go my way, if I'm 10 points less, then I gotta go 20 points better in something else, right? And if you keep doing less and less or just on par, then it keeps adding up later. So if you just don't worry about it and just do your thing. stay relaxed, do your thing, you'll end up 10 points better. So what are you gonna run in the 1500 then? Better than these boys. Mm. What? So you're ready to run sub 420? You're running sub 420. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he's got it. <laughs> hey, you're the only one out of all of us that's actually in the 420 so far. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you guys are chilling in the 430s, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Mm. That's because I'm going to skip the 20s. I'm going straight oh. to the teens. Yeah, I tried that last yeah. nationals. Yeah. yeah how did that go? <laughs> I came out in 64, and I think my last 200 was also 64. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But you ran a big PB, didn't you? Uh, it's like five, six, four or five seconds, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, cool. It worked so that's out, actually right? really good. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it worked out well. Um, it just, I was not ready to come out in 64. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one hurts. <laughs> that one hurt a lot. Well, be ready. I'm going out in that. You can go. Yeah, I'll look. catch you on the back end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll see you at the finish line. We'll run our even splits. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, that's all we have for you today. So thank you for coming in. Um, always good to hear from our uh, decathletes and we look forward to seeing you at the competition next week. Sunday, Sunday, February... 15th and 16th. 15th at Cusack, Brisbane. Mm -hmm. Where be the there, scalps are going to come. Or be square. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Oh. My, Last gummy worm. My butt! That was like... <laughs> oh. no, you know, like I've got a easy. massive crease. Like, By oh. the way, this is, this is what Marty was sitting on. <laughs> <right. laughs> We had stools, he had a bucket. No, there's none left! I was eyeing them off the whole time! Oh, sorry, we, we've got about 10 more packets in the fridge if you want.